Yo, 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 welcome to the Slowpoke Wells Behem deck profile, or I like to call it Men in Black. We're going to deal with aliens and stuff coming from the sky with this deck. Excuse my voice. I've just come back from a music festival like yesterday. Uh, and obviously, there's a lot of partying and shouting, so that's why my voice is gone. But let's get into it. So, we saw this at uh, Worlds. Is it Magnus Peterson, I'd like to say? Um, with this Behem, we started at 5 0 or 6 0, I believe. <clears throat> This is the main attack we're sort of looking at here. Mysterious noise, free energy, there's 90 damage, shuffle this Pokemon, all cards attached to it, back into the deck, and your opponent can't play any items. So that's like a bit of well, a bit like Solid Plateau's Quaking Punch, you have to jump through a lot more hoops now, can't just attach a DC, and away you go. So sort of the big hurdle with that, obviously, is that you shuffle yourself back in to the deck. Um, so you have to always find a Behem, an Eldrum, and the energy. And, and the damage ain't too great. I mean, it's 90 damage, but you know, if they're doing all that effort, like, it could be a bit high in my opinion. But if it was two shot it, it probably be, be too good. So, in order to keep up that cycle, we're going to give ourselves some Pidgeotos, stage 1, 60 HP, Elm Searchable. <laughs> Once you join the tournament, you look at the top two cards of your deck, put one of them into your hand, and another one on the bottom. So it's like giving you an extra top deck a turn, but you can pick it from either one. And the one you don't want, sling that to the bottom. So the next Pidgeot, because it does stack, you know, they'll get to the two fresh cards. So yeah, if you have two out, you're at plus two every turn. And then to spin ourselves into the active, we're going to put in some irritating geezers. So we've got ourselves Doomy Healy, looks like a bit of an alien, doesn't it, to be fair. Sticky Membrane, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's attacks cost one colorless more. So. It, let's say there was a Giratina from Lost Thunder in the active, and you put your Gumi there, they have to have four energies to attack. Two Psychic and two Colorless. Okay, One Retreat cost, rather important. And then the other person who wants to stick in the active is going to be a load of Nine Tails. So, yes, has Safeguard as an ability, so Carol Joe's ability. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's GX or EX. Now, before, this would have been good, but I like, agree. great. Guzmo exists. I know we've got custom catches now, but I can only read this and play two of them. So, yeah. So, this is going to be a big wall to so many decks. You just say stop. Right there for a second, mate. <laughs> and then you're going to attach a U turn board. Spoiler alert, got one more treat cost. Spin back into our behemoths with an item lock, and they can't hit us unless they're a basic um, non EX eject one. I guess not basic, but. Um, and non EX ejects Pokemon. So, yeah, that's the Pokemon, really. Uh, and a ditto just to help out because no ditto can evolve into quite a few things in this deck. And we want to fly through the rest, but one reset stamp. I'd like that to be two, in all honesty. Uh, Mysterious Treasure, out of four count. Now, this is the only change I've made for the list that um, that was at Worlds, purely because I just want to prioritize getting a turn two Behem ASAP Rocky. And, um, <laughs> and Mysterious Treasure also. It makes more of our comms live as well. So in case we've got like a comm but no Pokemon, we have a treasure, we can, you know, do the little things. We've got a lot of moving parts in this deck, so I feel as if having as much search as you can is awesome. Oh, and and the change for that fourth treasure was a Blizzard Town. So I know what it's for, it's to stop like Giratina. Because you, you hit a Giratina, it gives you to hit you back, right? And it knocks out your nine tails. But with, so with a Blizzard Town, in theory, they can't hit you. But oh, it's just a bit niche. It seems, no, I'd, I'd rather just, this is already a lot of moving parts. I want to just try and make those moving parts a bit easier than worry about that. And if we face a Giratina, if, and if Malamar can get a Giratina set up, get a Giratina loop up, then fair play to everyone. But <laughs> four bikes just for extra digs. We're like uh, eight. Well, I guess between the Pidgeotos and the Acrobikes, or eight effective uh, two dig cards. Um, Pokemon Communication. Four count, obviously made 20 Pokemon, so you'd be mad not to. Four gears, just because, you know, supporters are good, really. And sometimes you might need to fish for, like, a Tatanlizer if you haven't got a Switch card in your, uh, or something like that. So, quite good. Obviously, four Professor Elms Lecture, just because it searches out all your babies. Always nice. Especially with, like, Mewtwo's Cross Division. Well, I guess Cross Division from Mewtwo, I should say, is rather scary. So, they try and fill your board. ASAP. So you can also do some nice plays where post turn one, get two Pidgeotos, well, a third Pidgeot, I guess, and come away that one to get you a Behem. So uh, uh, Etch is really nice in here. One Shrine, can see that being two, but you know, space, 
It's four Cynthia, one copycat. Copycats are really good in this deck because if they can't play their items, they're gonna have a big hand. Especially if they're like welder and stuff that they can't play. You can just be like copycat, boom. And if you have like a hand, you've got like two energy, uh, Behem, Eldrum, you're just good to go. You don't have to do anything. Do, 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 do. So I can see that being a bit high, but it's not as good turn one, so obviously. But with so many welder decks being in format, I can see that. Oh, what? Hold on, let me change that. <laughs> Didn't realise this had vocals. <laughs> oh no, play that out. Uh, edit that out, okay. Well, on to Copycat. Copycat's really good because obviously they can't play trainers or can't play their item cards, so their hand ends up getting really big. So you can just uh, Copycat like a 10 card hand and be like, yo, once I've got my energy, my behemoth, all that stuff, you're good to go, really. I'd like that being a more. But um, the problem with uh, Copycat, it's not as good early game. Two Tate and Lydon, these are awfully similar to Cynthia in the fact that you can shuffle in your five. It's also it's a bit of utility in here, also as being a switching card. You can just use it as a switch. So it's not like a great, if you're using that as your support, it's not great, but if it means you can keep up train a lot for another turn, it could be worth doing. I, I, I could honestly see that flip flopping with Copycat a little bit. Because about field blow and stuff, the tools are really getting ripped off anyway. So but if you if you have to cop, uh, dump a couple balls for whatever reason, then a the tech monster gets more use. Two Lily, because you're that being more. Four U-turn boards, because that's how we're gonna pivot around. Um and it always comes back, which is nice. And then four triple acceleration energy, that's all we need to obviously fulfill our attack. So let's get in to a game. Notice more uh, spelling there. Very good. <laughs> Right, and we're back in, so I was just checking the location where this was loading. I didn't even see what type my guy is playing here. Alexi produce. Oh, we lost a coin flip. We really had to go first with this deck. So, yeah, let's hop him. A decent a decent start here, to be fair. Uh, we're going second, so Eldrum is most likely going to get knocked out. But we have got two Eldrums. Uh, need Eldrum. I'm going to put them all down there. All right, let's have a look. Alexi, produce. You're gonna produce a good game for Dark Box. Okay, if we can clamp him up ASAP. Could be okay. Uphill struggle though. In all fairness, see how we get on. You're gonna get two turns of art, which is annoying. And Viridian does absolutely nothing for us as well. He does Ultra Space Search. So this might not be the best matchups, so but we'll give it an honest go. Um, Dark Rise is also really threatening. To be honest, uh, with his uh, GX attack, get the Vol picks down. That's amazing. Uh, right, let's. Hmm. I want to leave that if I can. Potentially could get a Lily. So I might. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Not quite. Then let's do that. Uh. Oh. I don't, <laughs> you don't know what. You can play a 3 3 Pidgeot, alright? So I don't want to take that. We don't want to be getting rid of them willy nilly if we can help it. So <laughs> let's uh, shove these back in. Alright, so we've got an Elgin, that's nice. I mean, we've got a Behem for next turn. We didn't get an Energy, not that we could attach it now, obviously, but just nice to have. I'm going to put the Pidgey down. I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to place a stage on. Um, and then next turn, we'll play our Cynthia. And pray. It's good that we've got a lot of stuff out here, so no matter what realistically happens, apart from the vol picks, it can't completely derail the board. Which is what kind of honestly necessary with this deck is you need to have a turn one like that. With or by Elms, you ain't got a choice, right? So obviously you can attack with Naganadel, which is annoying. But hopefully, oh if we can get a KO on the Sneasel. I mean, we're not really scared of Dark Shark if we can evolve up into a uh, thingy, so gets a stage in replacement. Basic. Oh, it's just basic. I didn't even know it was just basic dark Pokemon. What's he going for here then? Rogue Ring. Push it for two cards. Oh, so you can. Ah, I can use Rogue Ring to set up. That's annoying. I thought it was two trainers. Okay, that's quite, okay. That's actually really good then, right? 
So you can just search out his revolve, you can search out everything. So you actually had a really good start there off that hand. <laughs> so, um, tempted to bench Jakumi because it could be our actual best uh, thing to spin into next turn outside Nine Tails. Um, but then, what have we got? Well, let's, well, we always do this, I think, right? I'm tempted to get rid of the Tate and Lazarus to get a second Behem to take one card out of the deck to improve our Cynthia. Um, now, I might just bench Tagumi to try and hit a triple this turn. It's a lot to, well, I guess it's not that much to ask, really, is it? But you know, it's me we're talking about. So, look, we've actually missed energy here and we've missed Pidgeot. Oh, wow, okay, so wow, that's. Oh, that's crazy. We missed all the bikes as well. That's actually got really bad now. That could just lose us the game. So let's just... Retreat into Nine Tails. That's awful. We haven't got a, support, a great support for next turn either. So that's one of them. Guess that that, that will happen. We only play four energy, right? So we, we've got a lot of dig, but... There's so much you can do. Obviously, the Nagnadel on the turning point turn can one shot us. The only saving grace is we've got a U turn board to retreat this as and when needed. So you have to wonder. I wonder what. <laughs> were they the two cards? Nah. So what does this grab? <clears throat> Another Poi Pole? At least we got the Goomy down. Yeah, Fly and Gem, that's going to be tough. <sighs> hopefully, hopefully, he's dead drawing here. <sighs> that was annoying. Missing. The, oh, he's got the, the Dene in hand as well. Oh boy. Oh, this deck isn't what I want to be listening to. Let's. Uh, that will do. So now we just wait. Really, he hasn't attached energy. Right, he hasn't charged up yet. I mean, he could, if he really wanted to, actually hit us now with turning point, which I guess isn't too bad. <sighs> huh? That's interesting. Uh, I don't, know, I don't know what I conceded there. That was going to be a. I reckon he, I, I, I thought he was doing all right there. I mean. Depends on what you top deck. If we miss energy again, uh, yeah, if we miss energy, then maybe the cards you drew were just awful. So, yeah. So, we'll, we'll, we'll take that, though. We'll take that. Doesn't matter how you get the win, baby. As long as you get the wins, right? <laughs> and we're going to roll into the next one. Ba 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 ba. I miss I wish Energy Lotto was still in for man, man, that'd be great for this deck. Right. Electric Fire Dark Colors. A lot of colors around. What is that dark? That's what Hooper, I guess. Hooper would be really good against this as well, now I think about it. I'm just sort of hoping that because the general consensus is right that Malamar's not very good. I'm just hoping that all these stray hoopers and um whatever else I was gonna say. Just oh yeah, Giratina. Uh, Man, was actually really good against this deck. So it's not, if they can actually get that loop up, it's really hard to do. But if they can, so this is well, some sort of Reshi Zarb, I guess. So many items though. We can get the clamps in. And he leaves each run. Okay. So hmm, interesting. I mean, it could just be greedy. I think we just do this, don't we? Yeah, okay. So let's. We have to. We all have to get to Eldrum just because it can custom catch a shenanigans. I mean, with that hand, I guess it, well, it's not likely, but you know, it could happen, right? Probably should check to see uh, if our Volpix was, but I don't think it was. So we can do we dig this turn? What else do we realistically need? Um, it improves our Lily for next turn, though, right? Might, uh, yeah, let's do it. Yolo swag. Uh, let's Ooh, uh, we'll take that. We've got one behem now, so okay. <laughs> there you go. 
<laughs> okay, he just, he, just, he just wasn't fancying it either, to be honest. He was hoping I was going to dead draw. I'm guessing he must have had a handful of items. Don't blame him. Shit. Fairy fighting and psychic, eh? What could that be? Oh, we won the coin flip, so we wouldn't get to go first. Uh... Alright, Sablo's got a decent little opening hand here, to be fair, a lot. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh. Oh, let's get in a roll. Ah, so I ain't got a clue what we're playing against. <laughs> oh, I know, it's just these weird, stupid decks we actually have a hard time against. Like, in all honesty, like, where's Dits? Oh, we prize Dits, okay. So I'm guessing Vulpix ain't gonna be very good. See, that's the problem, like, you just, meh. What did we lead? Oh, we let Goomy, okay. Hopefully we just clamp him. Turn two train lock. Like wog on geezer. That's what it's all about, baby. That's what it's all about, baby. <laughs> My voice is so bad. Um uh, Yeah, we don't wanna play Elms. Yeah, yeah, we don't wanna play Elms lecture. Next time. We uh we need to get a switching cards still, true. Alright, so what is this gonna be then? So what does Floor just do? Is that coin? Oh, it's the. <laughs> is this is still around, the loop deck. But well, you can't play last chance potion against us, so hopefully we can just rod him here. Can we play Tate and Liza? Just to guarantee the train lock this turn and the KO. I think that's what we do, right? Just to stop any silly like shenanigans, because I can just see this deck. I think we just don't let this deck settle. Um, so yeah, I mean this deck doesn't attack, does it? Right in theory, I can't remember. I think it was it was a deck out deck, wasn't it? So, so we're just gonna. I mean, he's got a free card hand. We just say deal with that. Debating even to switch into Eldrum if you don't have to find a switching card for next time. But we can't do that because we might not have an Eldrum for next time. <sighs> Chip book celebration at the prizes isn't too bad though. What's this do? Yeah, look, I mean, we don't one shot it anyway, so. So free hand in Chip deck and draw six cards. I'm guessing this, is, this, is, this, is, this must be a little mess about that, correct? I mean, I assume. Gee, I just what I don't want to do is just give, start giving them turns <laughs> to start messing about. <laughs> so in that vein, do I get a second Pidgeotto here? Uh, I think that's too risky, isn't it? Well, I, I, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but he'll have to play some sort of last chance potions or some stuff, for right? So this needs to be for you, turn board. <laughs> yeah, he has to find a last chance potion for this to work. I think if, if, if I mean, if I know what's going on, which you know I cannot categorically <laughs> say I can. <laughs> So yeah, I guess we're going to treasure the way that uh, Elms lets you to get a second behind there. Thinking about it. Improve our top deck. Okay, you just weren't fancying it either. So, say we've got some high quality games so far, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Let's just get on to the next one then, shall we? Oh, we yeah, lost the coin flip. There we go. <sighs> Okay, so we live or die by the Pokey here, huh? Hey, <laughs> you know, did we play twenty-one Pokemon? I shouldn't be happening, really. Are we going first? I'm not sure. Should be paying attention, shouldn't I? 
Okay, she's got Malamar here. Okay, this is gonna be interesting then. Okay, she led the <laughs> led. I wonder what his odds are on that. You know what I mean? Like, what, like <laughs> how many do you know you playing for that, my son? Overpower six. Can you just confidently put this in the active? Blow. Oh, this is a spread deck. That's not cool. If it is. Because <laughs> uh, spread is worrying. The Noivern does 1 energy, 20 everywhere, right? Pidgeot has 60 HP. So, um, yeah, that's not particularly great, in all honesty. We have to try and give, give him the clamps ASAP. <laughs> um... I don't know why you play Malamar in that though. A amazing top deck, right? So let's come out. We come out dits, don't we? Really? We get we get, we get old dits out. Old ditto. Uh, do you play bike? Oh, I've done it. So. <laughs> wow. Okay. So now, oh, yeah, let's play him anyway. I guess we take. Yeah, I think we yeah, we played a lecture, don't we? Okay. Or do we? Ooh, decisions. I think I played a lecture. And he, it makes his uh turn one It makes his turn one spread a little bit more naughty, but you know is what it is really hopefully you don't get it. He only needs energy. <laughs> energy and a way to evolve, right? But Guess we'll play that in case we get a Cynthia. Wow, ask and you shall receive, I guess, huh? Alright then. Over to you, you Malamar spread player. So, ideally, we want him to start messing about. I mean, this is such a... This deck is not good at beating random stuff. Like, stuff like this. This is, well, we don't deal with this. We don't deal with spread. We don't deal with non-GX very well at all. Ironically, oh, he's got the... Oh, he's got the Neuvern. We don't even one-shot Neuvern as well. Yeah. 20 damage each opponent's Pokemon. He's got the Lily. <laughs> what even is that? We saw... Fuming! Stop playing cards! <laughs> oh dear. Dearie me. We know he's his avenue to win here. Huh? I'm about to get slapped for playing that, uh, that elm there. Yeah, very good. Yeah, you're well good at this game. You are, man. Oh, at least we get... Okay. So, he's just going to get two turns of spread. That's just going to happen at this point, alright? Hopefully, we can just limit it there. Has he got energy and discard yet? Yeah, he... Oh, he's got... Oh! <laughs> oh, he's even got recycle. It doesn't even matter. So, he... That only works for basics, right? You okay? Oh. Oh, what a... Goomy. Okay, Goomy. You might be able to save the day here, Goomy. Um, let's play that. We're trying to evolve up now. Oh, well, we can't. We can't go uh, discarding uh, triples. Can't be doing that. Right, airmail. What's in my mail? I'll take the Goomy. Probably should have took the old one to be fair, but okay. I'm, I'm sure that's basics. Okay. That probably uh, lost me a game and thinking Goomy was just a... Uh, Chris one that was just for basic Oh, he's got the Meridius! He guarantees an energy every turn. Of course he has. I'm getting annoyed now. All these decks like Arvin just train locked you. Look at him, look at him go. Look at him, you wouldn't even know, would you? So I'm not 100% sure if we can win now. Like, I'm really not. I'm... Because it recharges the reach. Uh. So, 
So yeah. Yeah, I don't see how we win now. We take the KO there. Recycle pops there. Spreads again. So that actually doesn't gain HP when he evolves, huh? And uh, yeah, that's uh, and that and that'll be all she wrote at that point, right? So we need to hit U turn ball at the very least. Hmm. Didn't hit U turn ball. Uh. So AML has to hit U-turn board. So yeah, I think uh, I might just scoop him up there. But that tree is gonna because uh, he was spread kill 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 gone kill. Yeah, well uh, you have that one, mate. So like I said, I did say it, didn't I? I did say it to start Malamar as an issue. Malamar spread like that if it gets up is even more of an issue. So yeah, not 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 the best of games there. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, there's Behem. I'm probably playing it for Sheffield. Need get some more reps in, obviously. But uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Well, I just thought Blizzard Town would have come up there, huh? <laughs> Blizzard Town would have uh, stopped him attacking. All right, well, who is that guy? Magnus Peterson, I think it was. If you're listening, I'm not even sure if it was you. I mean, whoever was playing Behem at Wells. <laughs> and you were playing Blizzard Town. Now I know why. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Much appreciated. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't hesitate to subscribe. I try and power as much stuff here as I can. Full deck profiles plus games. Topic conversational pieces regarding anything in the TCG. Um, check out my Twitter. Check out my Facebook. That's where you get most of the updates. Sort of see what's going on behind the scenes. All that good stuff. Also check out the SoundCloud for the full um, bi-weekly podcast. If you're interested, if you like the conversational pieces, go check that out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day.